Hi everyone, I am Dr. Byrne and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to perform t-test in the Microsoft Excel. Also in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to interpret the results generated by the Microsoft Excel. But of course, before perform t-test, it is best that you know the different assumptions for this particular test. The first assumption pertains to the scale of measurement of the data that you have collected. T-test assumes that the scale of measurement of the data that we have collected is at least interval or ratio. Second, T-test assumes that the data that we have collected were taken and randomly selected from a target population. And I think the keyword there is randomly selected. The third assumption is that T-test assumes that your sample size is large enough. Of course, there are available formula that you can use to compute for the sample size of your, uh, for any uh, research that you would like to do. And the fourth assumption is that the data that you have collected are normally distributed. So if we take, for example, the scores of students during the college entrance test, if we're going to plot these scores, it will give us a perfect shape. Okay. And the fifth assumption is that there is a homogeneity of variance. And homogeneity of variance can be achieved when the standard deviation of the two variables that we're trying to compare is approximately equal. Alright, so I, I have here sample data of 109 students. Alright, so I got here also their scores during the college entrance test and their aptitude score in artistic ability. Now, as a researcher, I, would, I am interested to find out whether there is a significant difference between the scores of students during the college entrance test when they are grouped according to sex. So having said that, we need to advance our hypothesis. So our, our hypothesis would be, our null hypothesis rather would be, there is no significant difference between the scores of students during the college entrance test when they are grouped according to sex. Alright, and the, the alternative hypothesis therefore would be there is a significant difference between the scores of students during the college entrance test when they are grouped according to sex. So these are the hypotheses that we need to prove using this data. Alright, now the very first step in performing t-test in the Microsoft Excel is that you need to group the variables that you are trying to compare. So in this case, we are interested of the scores of students when grouped according to sex. Therefore, we need to group all the male students and we need to group all the female students. Alright? So to do that is very simple. You simply have to highlight this column. All right, and then you go to sort, and then you sort A to Z. All right, so the Microsoft Excel will ask you to expand the selection or you will just want to continue with the current selection, but you have to click or tick the circle for expand the selection because that would mean that all the data along with uh, respondent number one will also be uh, sorted. All right, and then you click sort. Alright, so if you notice now, all the female students were grouped together and all the female students were grouped together and the data along with the respondent number one uh, was also sorted. Alright, so I think we are now ready to perform t-test. Alright, so to do that, you click data and then you go to data analysis. And then, since we are trying to compare uh, independent samples, the male and female, so we're going to use t-test for independent samples. So we have here t-test for two samples assuming equal variances, and t-test two samples assuming unequal variances. So in this case, we're going to choose t-test assuming equal variances. And then we click OK. So this will be the dialog box that will pop up. So the first one, in the variable one, you need to highlight the, the range. So this means that we need to highlight all the scores of female students. So starting from 351, 
going to all right it's until here all right and then you click this again and then you need to highlight the scores of male students so to do that you click this arrow and then you look for the scores of male students so it has to start from 275 going to here 380 all right so here we are uh, required to uh, have a hypothesized mean so since we are trying to assume that there is no significant difference yet so we can put simply here zero you can tick the labels if you highlighted the label since we did not highlight the the, the label so we don't need to tick this uh, box so we are setting our alpha level at 0 0.05 and the microsoft excel is asking you where you would like to uh, uh, where you would like the results to be displayed in my case i would always want the, the results to be displayed in the new worksheet so as is and then we click ok all right so we have here now the results generated by the microsoft excel all right you can see here the mean score of the female students which is 386.89 and the mean of the male students which is 374.49 and there is a slight difference in terms of mean all right but you can see here also the the variances but we are, what we are uh, interested about in this uh, in the result of the microsoft excel is uh, the p-value so we can choose here the p-value for one tail and the p-value for two tail but the way we stated our hypothesis this while ago is non-directional so we are using two tail so we're going to look for the p-value for two tail so the rule for this one in interpreting the result is this if you are using the p-value then if the p-value is greater than 0 0.05 alpha then do not reject the null hypothesis but if the p-value is less than 0 0.05 alpha then you reject the null hypothesis all right so going back to that data uh, to that result rather the p-value here is 0.17 so the p-value is equal to 0.17 which is actually greater than 0 0.05 all right so since the p-value is greater than 0 0.05 then we fail to reject ho all right so maybe we could write here since since the p-value of 0.17 is greater than 0.05 then we fail to reject the null hypothesis and since we fail to reject the null hypothesis all right this was our null hypothesis and we fail to reject this this means that our conclusions would be there is no significant difference between the scores of students during the college entrance test when they are grouped according to sex so that would be our our conclusion but of course the other way of uh, interpreting the result here is by comparing the t statistics all right this one let me highlight that you can compare the t statistics and the t critical okay you can compare you can compare these two and our rule here is different in in, uh, in in terms of interpreting the result right so if you are trying to compare the t statistics and the t critical value if the t critical if the t statistics rather is greater than the t critical value then you can reject the null hypothesis but if the t statistics is lesser than the t critical value then you cannot reject or then you do not reject the null hypothesis all right so going back to the data the result rather so our t statistic is 0.137 and our t critical is 1.98 so since 
since t statistic since the t statistic equals 1.37 is less than the t critical sorry t critical which is equal to 1.98 then we fail to reject the null or let's have HO then we fail to reject the null hypothesis so if you notice they have the same result we fail to reject the null hypothesis and since we re fail to reject the null hypothesis then our conclusion would be there is no significant difference between the scores of students during the college entrance test when they are grouped according to sex. All right. So again, there are two ways to interpret the result. The quickest way is, and the easiest way is, you simply uh, you simply compare the p-value. This is the p-value. You compare this to the alpha level, and our alpha level is 0.05. So, 0.17 is obviously greater than 0 0.05. So, then, that would mean that we fail to reject the null hypothesis. And if you are trying to compare the t-statistics and the t-critical, if the t-critical is greater than, is, I mean, if the t-statistics is greater than the t-critical, then you reject the null hypothesis. But in this case, it's less than. So, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. So, the data or the result shows or t-test for independent samples show that there is no significant difference between the scores of students during the college entrance test when they're grouped according to sex all right so this means that the difference here between uh, the mean of the female and the male students uh, is not significant all right so I think that's how simple it is uh, to perform t-test in the Microsoft Excel. All right. So I hope you like this video. And if you like this video, kindly click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you will be notified for my uh, upcoming videos. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.